Hi, okay, so we'll jump straight into it. We're going to be building a 787 Dreamliner here. So first thing first, we want to go and uh, go onto the internet to find some suitable visual reference material. In addition to that, we want to make sure that we've got the relevant specs and stuff as well, just so we know where everything is exactly on the aircraft. So as you can see, Wikipedia is a pretty good source for this sort of thing. Anyway, so we're going to jump over into SolidWorks, set up our document, get ready to actually start importing some of this material and start building the aircraft. You just want to make sure that we're working in the uh, meters, kilograms, seconds uh, units here rather than anything else because if you find yourself working in millimeters and whatever, you guys have probably done the SolidWorks basics already, uh, so no need for me to explain that to you. So in this folder here, what, we're, what I've done is download the diagram images of the plane, uh, all of these different perspectives that we found on Wikipedia. Uh, most planes you're likely to be working with will have some sort of reference image as well, some, something similar that um, is a nice sort of guide from which to work. And they tend to be to scale, which is also quite nice, but uh, do verify that the uh, there's to scale before jumping headlong into it, because otherwise you'll uh, get later on into the process and realize that things don't quite match up. If nothing else, just make sure that they're to scale with each other. Uh, that, at the very least, will set you in good stead. So what we're going to be doing here, the first thing we're going to be doing in SolidWorks is making reference points for the reference images. So we're going to be designating thing dimensions like length uh, and wingspan to uh, make sure that we have something to line up our reference images against. And we're finding that information generally in Wikipedia again, or at whatever the source you've chosen to uh, go off of. Uh, or if you've got a plane with a different set of dimensions, then naturally you're going to be using those. And uh, if you want to be setting the plane to scale, you can still do that, uh, just with your own personalized dimensions. So what you saw me doing just there was that I laid down a little line. This is going to be what's going to be our length line. And I adjusted the length to be exactly that of the length of the plane. We're going to be using that to just line up our reference material. So just while you're working, make sure you're labeling everything that you do, just so that you know you can go down a list on the left-hand side as more and more items build up and you know exactly where and what everything is. So I'm just going to go ahead and draw another line in, a, in the other planes that we're going to be working with uh, that matches up with the length of the uh, original line that I've drawn. Uh, this is just simply because of the way that SolidWorks works, that you need to have... Uh, it doesn't always let you um, align things on different planes if you're going at it from a weird angle, so you know, just make sure that you've got lines on every plane. You'll see what I mean if you try to manipulate a certain sketch from one angle that is more than 45 degrees than the intended ob observation angle from the intended, uh, you know, normal to. Anyway, what you saw me doing just there was I was looking for the wingspan length, and what we're going to be doing here is just drawing a line going from the center point of the length line, just either side, uh, each side, each each line of which is going to be half the length of the wingspan, so that we've got a clear-cut box in which we're going to be working, and from there we're going to be developing the points at which the wingspan should reach, and then later on we're going to be able to line up the reference images so that it fits perfectly within that. When that.
what we're doing here is a case of we're just going to be drawing another little line at the end of the fuselage length because uh, obviously when you're looking at a profile of an airplane the f furthest back point on the plane isn't actually on the fuselage it's on the tail it's on the tip of back tip of the tail so what we're doing here is just drawing a line up to uh, be able to align that on the reference image Okay, so the point has come that we're actually going to insert the reference image into the uh, file now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Tools, first of all, in the uh, menu bar. And then we're going to go all the way down to Sketch Tools. And all the way down to the bottom again to Sketch Picture. Uh, it's going to open up with a little uh, navigator where you're going to find your reference images, like what I showed you before. And you'll paste them in and shape them up until you've got them lined up with the dimensions you've drawn up for with the sketch line. So for now what we're going to do is just going to do the profile image, reference image. So you can see I've sort of lined up the nose here with the beginning of the line that we drew initially and it's going to be a case of we're resizing it back and forth until the tail matches up with the uh, line as well. We're not going to be changing any scales or anything here. It just it doesn't need to reach the top of the line that I've drawn. It's just a case of this is a vertical line, and the tip needs to come up to that point uh, somewhere along that line, uh, and that's going to fit what we want. Once we're happy with that, obviously we're just going to take it off and uh, make sure that we've named it correctly in the list of items. So we'll move on actually now to the top plane where we're going to do something similar again where we've got the wing box that we outlined earlier and we're going to import a top-down image of the schematic or, well, the uh, reference image. So as you can see now, actually, the two images are lined up, and you can see, you know, the nose lines up, the cockpit lines up, the doors line up more or less, the wings, everything uh, is matching as it should, and that's a sure sign that we've got correlating scales.